Let's go. Hooray. Okay. Hold up. Uh, I mean, if I do this, I get a sense of my teamwork on my teammates, right? Oh, sorry. Thought I saw a killer, but it's just a little thingy. Maybe you should do the come out slowly so you don't give... Oh, it's a it's an enemy. Let's go, dudes. Um, Chad, do we kill him or do we bamboozle him? I'll bamboozle him. And now he walks away. Um, I don't want to run into him. Mm. Oh, hello. Uh, I mean, this place was really nice, but then they took away the thingy. Okay, he's going for the M1. This was bad. We couldn't really avoid that hit, but now he's in a bit of a pickle himself, isn't he? Mm. He's going to fake that. No way. Yeah, you're faking it. So knowing that, I can probably come this way. Why did you put your tentacle? You're crazy. You're insane. He's leaving me. Uh, was that Adam getting hit by a zombie? Uh, I'm moving a little bit faster than usual, just to make sure he doesn't see me. And here I'm going to have to go. Okay. Remember, he's in... Oh, okay, that was really good, actually. Oh, female vaults, female vaults. I'm going to get hit. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. I just don't want to go down yet. Uh, sorry, that might have been... Like, the, the, the female vaults are bugged again. And I'm pretty sure that if I went through the window... With a bit of... You know, with a bit of ping or whatever, I, I was going to get hit 100%. So I didn't want to risk it. Uh, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Do not use vaccines while Nemesis is in tier 1. If you're doing- if the team is doing really well, and you're not in danger, I'll even tell you, do not use vaccines until he's tier 3. Because... Okay, let's say... I, I know Adam's infected and maybe things are different, but... Let's say that you get hit by a tentacle, so he gets 3 out of 6 points, and then you use a vaccine, and then he hits you again, and then he gets another 3. So now he's out of the 6, which means tier 2. And a similar thing can happen to tier 3. If everyone uses vaccines early on, he gets 3 points, 3 points, 3 points, 3 points, 3 points. Quickly reaches the 15 to tier 3. And now he's a little bit stronger, right? Especially at tier 2, he gets quite a bit stronger. But, if you don't use vaccines, and you let him hit tier 3, and then you use vaccines, now it doesn't matter that he gets 3 points or 1 point or whatever. It doesn't matter. You, he's already very, very slow, and the vaccines are still... If your team is holding up, the vaccines are still good later on, you know what I mean? So basically, you mess with his tier up economy if you, um... If, oh, that's maybe Bob. Oh, hold up, let me check for a totem here. Oh, what the hell? Um, what do we do with this guy? Uh, is there a pallet for us to, I mean, this is a, such a strong pallet. Did he lose me? I just wanna... Oh, lost me. What's going on? Oh, being stupid zombie. Do you think it's a good idea to infect yourself with a zombie to tear up? Uh, if you're about to get hit... Oh. Right, I'm gonna show you again the trick that I did earlier. I made a video on this already. But if you want a zombie to lose you and you don't want to drop a pallet, you make them look away from the gen or the area. Uh, this is easier if the zombie's faster. You wait until it hits you. Then you start walking and then you run behind them and... Sometimes they do this. It's it's a bit random. You try it once or twice if it doesn't work, well, too bad. If, yeah, maybe there I'm a bit too fast. Yeah, don't worry. Alright, fine. I forgot I have head-on. I can kill him with head-on. Yeah, that's another... I mean, not everybody runs head-on. Oh, what? He just lost me? Yeah. Not everybody has head-on, but if you have head-on, you can kill them like that. I forgot. Uh, yeah. What's up? Do we heal this boyo? But yeah, basically, uh, my point is, you hurt his uh, tear up economy if you uh, don't use vaccines early. Now, the question of, should you get hit by a zombie? Uh, ask yourself two questions. Can I get a speed up from the zombie if I'm not infected? So for example, let's say that that blue thing is the exit gate and I'm not infected. I could take the hit from the zombie, become infected and use the speed to beat him to the exit gate if he has no it or something. So if you can use the zombie for a speed for a speed boost, 
it can work and it's not a bad idea uh ada you better have life yeah she did okay oh uh, what do we have here oh good enough i guess oh why did i I was so late! I was so late! I thought for sure he was gonna destroy me. But hey, okay. Here we go. Did we, did we break this? No, I'm fine. Not only, not only am I fine, I'm gonna get a speed boost when I go through here. Oh, I already got it. Nice. Sweet. Oh, uh, he's gonna get me here, though. Does he get me here? No, he doesn't. Uh, okay, there's a tiny problem, though. I'm gonna slow vault it. Oh, nice. I'm gonna quick and quiet into this. He's gonna come and check. He'll think I went for the window. Oh, he dropped. Okay, then we're probably fine. We make no noise because we have the funny Ellen perk. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, it worked out, I guess. <laughs> this is so silly. Alright, let's do this again. Where's my teammates? One, two, three. This perk is so cute. I love it. Um, anyway, uh, I forgot what I was talking about uh, before we went into the shows. Um, yeah. So the economy, yeah, zombies, right. So if you're uninfected and it's the end of the game or you need to beat the killer to something, then yeah, sure, take the zombie hit. It's not chasing anyone. Hold up. Oh, he's chasing someone. Still, I see. Sorry, I, I saw the HUD and I'm like, no one's doing being chased. Still on her, still on her. She's probably gonna take a hit soon. Nice, good job. Uh, but should you take a damaging hit against. Against. Um, uh, damn, I'm going down here. Do you take a damaging hit instead of an M1 or something? The answer is if he's in tier one and everyone is far away from you and you can keep him in tier one, yes. Uh, as I mentioned, when you take uh, when you take a hit from a zombie, uh, you're infected. He doesn't get any infection points, and if he kills a zombie afterwards, he gets one. And if he hits you afterward, he gets one. So that means that if you go down, get hit by a zombie. Uh, and then he hits you and the zombie, and then he hits another person, he's still in tier one. So he would need to hit two two more people after that, and several more zombies. So, and if he tunnels you, he's gonna get nothing. So it can be a very good idea to keep someone in tier one to get hit or down by a, well, not down, but like infected by a zombie. Um, however, if he's already in tier two, if you think that he's gonna hit you and then hit someone else and then hit someone else and the whole team is there, don't bother. Don't bother. It's too risky then, I say. But yeah, that, that's that's my assessment, I guess. All right, there's usually a... Uh, yeah, there's usually a... Um, oh, shit. A totem on TLs, but not this one. Let's go find someone in the open. Then we can heal again. Hmm. Am I the only one that's out of the board of this Halloween event? I mean, maybe you've just been playing it a bunch, chat. But keep in mind, not everybody's like us that plays the game every day, you know? There's a lot of people that are like, you know, like a couple of weeks after the event. They're like, oh my god, what the hell is this? I just came back from work. Haven't tuned into DVD for a while, you know? And the event is meant for them too, you know? It's not like... We can expect everyone to experience it in just a week, so yeah, of course you're gonna see everything there is. Uh, he gave up a bit, or what's going on? <laughs> Hi, Kerbs, thank you. The stream is going well, we just started. I think this match has been <laughs> an interesting showcase of some of the things you can do against Nemi. Uh, one of the things that really good survivors do against Nemi that we didn't really showcase but they, you, you'll see it pretty often if you watch Nemi players, is they preemptively dodge... Um, like, let's say I'm being chased around this thing, right? I don't know, imagine it's a loop with a pallet, right? 
like good survivors will at the start of the game will do this whoop. you know they, they, they'll hug it tight and then they'll do whoop they, they'll dodge kind of like you would a huntress damn dude can't do can't do a three man heal uh, to make sure that they don't get hit by to make sure that they don't get hit by the tentacle if you can delay the tentacle and even pre-drop a pallet you might have thought that dropping that shack pallet there was a bit eh which i mean fair right but if you can delay his tier two and box him in it is so difficult to play nemi the the, the way you lose games as nemi more often than not it's not in the end game or the mid game it's at the start a survivor spreads out from everyone else. You can't find multiple people. So now you need to hit a survivor multiple times to tear up. Or, or find multiple survivors in a big map, which is impossible. Uh, and then they drop a good pallet. And then maybe you don't even get the hit. You can't break the pallet quickly because you're not in tier 2. So now you have to break the pallet. And now you have three people doing gens. And one person that you still need to hit three times. So having a quick look at this build from our Nemesis friend, we see that he has no information perks, which on Nemesis can be quite rough. Keep in mind that at the start, he only chased me away from everybody else. He didn't have information to chase multiple people at the same time, which is super important on Nemesis in particular. He has Pain Dress and Pop, which are really strong perks, but you only really get to use them after your first down. And with Nemesis, that can take quite a while and if you have to say the best for last on top of that that's like perk that only really begins to kick in during the middle game so we have objectively good perks that might be a little bit weak if your early game isn't perfect uh, i do recommend other types of build for nemesis on my website where i give builds for all the killers uh, i still need to update it but yeah you might want to try this if you are running into a similar issue as our killer friend here I, I've I've come around and gone back and forth, but say the best for last on Nemi. I think at this point, with the current add-ons that Nemi has, I, I I don't I don't recommend it anymore. And I think I think you can skip it off your builds. And what add-ons can you run instead? This one is nice, but it's it doesn't carry anymore. It didn't help our friend here too much. And this one does literally nothing. It's literally an empty add-on. Don't even don't even get it. Uh, in my opinion, uh, you could use the brown syringe, which is nice slowdown. The the green. Plan 43 binds, which is also slow down. You can use them together if you want to slow down people using vaccines. And he's got some others that are slightly better. But yeah. Um, corrupt Pain Dress is, is decent, though. Nothing wrong with that.